Okay, I'm Andrea. Today is Thursday, August 30th, and I consent to the videotape, to being videotaped. Great. What types of things have you noticed happening during that time um, while in the tuning session? A lot of emotion expressed. Okay. Um, just relief overall, I think, whether it's dealing with anger or sadness or stress or anxiety. Okay. Um, I've definitely noticed during the sessions that, you know, where in the beginning I started out anxious about it all, but as I, as it evolved with me and I slowly let things go, wow. You, you've had normal adjustments in the past. Mm -hmm. They were just the chiropractic adjustments, and they helped you through some things. Yeah. And and so you're saying that this kind of added something else to it. Oh, yeah. A new added a whole new element to it. Okay. Whether that's mind, body, health, anything. So you're saying that you're, you have to allow it to happen. Oh, yeah. If it's, you didn't want it to happen. Yeah. It I mean, it's definitely something that you have to open up your mind to, and you have to allow You have to make that choice within yourself to say, okay, I want to be, you know, I want to make changes. I want to be different. I want to be healthy. I want to be better. And you just have to make that decision and then let your body do what it wants to do. What have you noticed with the difference? Because you started with, before I, you started using tuning forks. Oh, yeah. What did the tuning forks add, do you think? For me, it's a more intense mm -hmm. inner processing I guess mm -hmm. to where with just the touches it's one of those that you know I can still open it up and I can still go through and release things mm -hmm. but with the tuning forks it's just it's much deeper mm -hmm. I mean it's one of those that just grabs you from the middle and just goes How about those who would think of this type of thing as being some sort of voodoo? What would you say to those people? They're nuts. They're nuts. <laughs> it's definitely not voodoo. It's, it's something that your own body does. Your own body knows how to do it and knows how to respond to it. It's just a matter of channeling that inner self and making sure that you're okay because you can't possibly do really when you think about it you can't possibly do anything else with anybody else until you yourself is okay and you just have to make that decision and then let your body do what it wants to do okay has there been any time where um, um, uh, you were faced with the the possibility of medication versus oh, not medicating yeah yep. yeah um, I was diagnosed with an anxiety disorder at 15 Mm -hmm. and have been on any kind of medication that you could possibly think of for depression, but I didn't have depression. And my thought was, why are you treating me for depression when I have anxiety? And the psychiatrist, I mean, they all had very valid points at the time. Um, it was a matter of, well, if we can keep you, your, basically my chemicals balanced all the time, then I'm not going to get anxious. And therefore, I won't have the anxiety attacks where I hyperventilate, try to pass out. Um, but I did not like how it made me feel at all. Um, it was always very anti-medication. And, I mean, there's another element to that, but the main thing was how it made me feel. And 
especially after I had my son. Went through, uh, definitely went through some postpartum stuff. And I tried taking it, and by then I was with you. Mm -hmm. And so my body was getting an alternative form of medication, and it rejected it. I mean, the medicine itself made me sick. And when you took it, it made yeah, you sick. it made me ill. I mean, it didn't matter if I took it in the morning, if I took it with food, if I took it at night, it made me ill. So you kind of weaned yourself off. Yeah. I mean, it just went, Psh, I'm not, I can't do this, you know. It's obviously there's something else that I need to do if they're prescribing me, prescribing me medication for postpartum depression and it's not working. And as I've gotten older and you and I, and I started working with you and talking to you and it got to a point at my job that it's, Andrea, it's your job or it's medication. And I didn't want medication. And I came to you and I said, I can't do this. I, I need to do something different. There was a significant break in that time, too, of, yes. of, of our care, wasn't there? Yes. And um, um, it was, you thought that we'd have to go through it all over again. Yes. And was that true? No. No? No. What happened? Picked up right where we left off. Yeah. I mean, that was during the time, because I remember, <laughs> I remember when, where we left, where I, where I stopped coming, came right at an anger emotion that scared the living daylights out of me. That you were experiencing while spinal tuning? Yes. Okay. Yes. It was an inner anger that when it revved up, it was like, whoa, you know, I, at that point in our treatment, I wasn't ready to deal with it. Mm -hmm. And it was probably what, three, four, six months, I think somewhere in that category. And that's when everything started unraveling in my life. Mm -hmm. And they, my job wanted me to get medicated, and so instead I came to you, and, and yeah, I mean, it was like I made that choice again. you got to face this. you got to deal with this because it's affecting so many other things. This one emotion was affecting so many other things, and it, it picked right back up. And, I mean, and at that point I was ready to deal with it, and, man, it wasn't nearly as, as scary as I thought it was going to be. You have to go through it to get through it. Yes. Okay. Um, was the anger emotion spe specifically tied to any one thing, or was it just a general anger that you didn't really couldn't connect it to anything? I could probably connect it to things if I wanted to analyze it to pieces. Do you want to analyze? No, it? no. I just want to get rid of it. Exactly. I mean, it's it's something. Okay, you know, once I was able to identify with it, because I'm 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 very much a control freak to an extent. I mean, I wanted to have control over certain things, and so. In this, you do have control. I mean, even though you're opening up your mind and you're letting your body do its thing, you still have a portion of control on whether you let it do what it's supposed to do. And I let it. I made that choice. I had that control. And that, that anger didn't come out, you know, in a nasty, violent way, which in the beginning, that's what I thought it was going to do. But... It just came out. I mean, I might have been punching and crying and screaming and being mad, but it wasn't nearly as severe as I thought it was going to be. But I had that choice to let it go. That was my control. But it's a happy. It's not because you're tired. Right. But it's just like you're so relaxed and you're so at peace. You were at peace while doing all those motions. I know. But you were relaxed and at peace while doing all those motions. Mm-hmm. Isn't that cool? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you mm -hmm. the questions. And what was that like? That put a new spit on it too. Okay. I mean, it's it's because those a lot of those things that I want are attached to emotions, mm -hmm. and so when you have to dig deep for those answers, you find the emotions with it. And right. so when you're bringing those to the surface, it's another way of dealing with it. It's another way of putting it out there, saying, "Okay, I'm I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to face these." And boom, psh, they're gone. Was it, were the questions of added benefit? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Because those are things that really a lot of us think about all the time. Mm -hmm. And so, but you don't think about it in this spectrum, but when you do do it, it's like, yeah, it's, it's attacking those. And, and you, so for me, I think when I go to do those things, I already know how I'm going to feel. Mm -hmm. And I've already dealt with that emotion. And so it's not something that is going to cause me anxiety. It's not something that's going to be stuck down in there. So it's helpful to express it. Yes. Yes. Great. Thank you so much, Andrea. Thank you.